Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. So, I just got back from seeing the movie Sanctuary. And all I'm gonna say, guys, is that for those who went and saw this movie, I don't kink shame. So I didn't know what to entirely expect going into this movie. All I knew was that this was a film from Neon Pictures, which is a studio that I respect quite a bit. And usually the projects that they drop, much like A24, are usually some rooted for a specific audience. Now I did first see this trailer just a couple weeks back, actually at my local theater here in town, which interesting enough was the only theater in my city playing this movie. And even after seeing this trailer, I still didn't know at all what the movie was really going for, what its plot was, what its even like genre was going for. Based off of what I picked up from this trailer was that this was kind of going for the erotic, dark comedy, psychological thriller mystery movie. Again, a movie that kind of seemed like it was routed for a specific audience. And with this being an independent film and a limited release, that piqued my interest even more and wanted me to support this film that much more. And this was also getting just rave reviews from what I saw. And the way I see it guys is that The Boogeyman, I already saw that film, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I am NOT going to see that movie on its opening weekend. Just not gonna do it. With this film officially releasing in my city, I could not wait to see it. And now that I have seen it, let's just talk about this movie. So the first thing I want to talk about with this movie is actually the first thing I noticed in this movie, and that is the directing. It's that remarkable thing where, just based off of the directing in this movie, you know, the tricky camera angles, the way that it's set up, it kind of helps craft out the story and helps create the vibe of what this movie might actually be selling. It is also one of those films that starts off very ominous, very quiet, kind of selective and secluded, where once you see the two characters just enter the film for the first time together, just in the same frame as soon as the movie begins, all the genre bending and twistiness and kind of mystery thriller that this movie seemed like it was giving off, just everything all in all from what we were being promoted this movie in that sense of like, so what the fuck is happening here? What is this? What are we all getting? Because I'm just gonna say there is quite a variety in this movie and the movie hints at that right off the bat and in a very cinematic way from the get-go. Also the pacing just from the get-go really felt like everything I was expecting out of this film that I could have and or maybe just did and there's really just that this film sets up in a very kind of slow burn tense mystery way like i was saying just a minute ago it sets off in a very tense way it's got a lot of very tricky camera angles it's got a lot of very ominous and kind of mysterious directing to it and i think that this is also just because this movie as a whole whether it be the plot the genres or really what it's aiming for. It was quite a mystery to me. And this whole intro is just set on these two characters that are the only characters in this movie. And before we really can figure out what the actual story is of the movie, what's actually going on in it, it is just set on these two characters in a situation that goes on for quite a while. And also I am going to point this out. This was kind of at least from what I got from the trailers seeming like it was going to be this erotic dark comedy thriller and then i saw the rating i'm like well it's rated r for like language maybe it's not going to be quite that erotic fixation movie maybe it's just going to have those undertones no motherfucker the whole first act of this movie is just showcasing dominating and i am just going to say for me personally this was kind of like a mixed bag for me. It was kind of like an up and down thing. And I think it's just because I'm not very familiar with the whole dominating thing as far as actually being like set on that. Like that's not one of my personal fetishes. And for as much interest as I had in this movie as like how vague and under wraps this film was to me just for how much I really didn't know at all what I was getting myself into. Also for how long this segment of the movie went on for. I was like, so are they doing the dominating thing or is this just who these people are? These two separate people in this scenario, is, is this how these people are in actuality or is this just for the bit? And I will say 
not only during this area of the movie, but just in general, kind of like an up and down thing for me throughout the movie, is that I did kind of get the feeling that these characters, sometimes they would oversell it. They would put way too much in that even if some, some things weren't quite to my personal taste that were going on in the movie, just for the events that were happening in the movie, for its pacing, for its overall atmosphere, whatever the case may be, there were times where it did feel like they were just putting way too much in, or they were doing the opposite where, like, like what their characters were giving in certain scenarios did feel just a bit underwhelming to me. But with that being said, what I will say that that kind of leads into is how much of an actual fucking ride this movie felt like. Like, I know that it's kind of a term to say when a movie, like, depending on how it delivers that, it could be a real ride. No, this movie is a real fucking ride. It is unpredictable. It has a real wide variety to it. There are times where the movie will get very tense and go very fast and a lot will happen at once. It'll kind of throw you for a loop and then it'll slow down a little bit and then it'll shoot up out of nowhere. My favorite thing of this movie is just how much of a twist this movie felt and how morbidly and darkly and kind of like sinisterly playful it was and overall just how unpredictable it was to me. Another thing to me was the character pieces in this movie. Seeing not only where the film would go with its story or with its events but with not only these separate people like as individual people but who they were as individual people with the circumstances and situations that transpire in this movie and their overall chemistry with each other based off of the events that happen and best of all the hints that the movie has and that it kind of teases along the way psychologically out of these characters but let's finally get into the plot of this movie and the reason why i'm talking about this plot at this point in the review is because it's at this point in the movie where we actually kind of get the idea of where this movie's going to be going. Which is that literally everything up to this point just being centered around this dominatrix and this man. But once they're all done with that, this guy breaks this news to this dominatrix that this is actually the last time that he would be seeing her. And the reason behind that is that his dad had just recently passed away in the hotel of the hotel room that they are in was formerly owned by the dad that has now passed it down to the son. And it's established during this uh, conversation that these two do actually have history with each other. So they talk about how this has kind of been a routine for some time and the whole reasonings behind uh, all this happening is that this guy sees it that now that he is the owner of this hotel chain and now that he has quite a bit of wealth now because of this it just wouldn't make him look good as the owner of this hotel now which basically results in this woman feeling completely used betrayed and what it comes down to is that after this guy kicks her out of this hotel room she comes marching right back demanding to be let into the hotel room stating that she had forgot something and when the guy asks, well, what did you forget? She responds with, I want to get what I'm paid for. I want to get what I'm worth. And we start to see not necessarily a new side per se to this woman, this dominatrix, but remember how I had said earlier that the movie kind of drops feelings and vibes and hints at things that might eventually transpire and eventually get fleshed out more and more detailed once the movie actually got going. Well, the tenseness that was of this erotic side that we had just experienced, and the thought and theory of who is this woman underneath this character, well, we just start to see more of an unhinged and kind of vengeful side of that nature. And I'm just gonna say it. For as fun and of a variety, yet how up and down the movie kind of felt up to this point. It did also feel further again, like that feeling or that vibe of this movie just feeling like a ride. It did feel like we were getting more twist and more like gravity and more depth and more kind of adrenaline with this ride of a movie where we kind of just get this 
all-out war movie that just feels like a very nasty breakup that just feels like a toxic turn of events that just really just ended on very bad terms which ultimately revolves in these two people being stuck in a hotel together out to get personal things that they want out of the other person for either their own gratification their own pleasure or again for what they feel they are overall worth you know we uh start to learn more about these people on the way we start to get secrets that are revealed around the way this also can kind of be interpreted as like one of those movies where you could side with one person or the other you may not know if what all they're saying is actually the truth or not again it was just a very predictable movie in that cat and mouse kind of like pick a side sort of unhinged way and i will say this though as much as i really respected the overall concept here this is actually pretty experimental of a movie when it comes to like its humor and its dialogue and even its overall writing at times where at times the main thing that was actually keeping me uh like afloat was just me sticking certain scenes out just to see where things would go next because this was just that much of an unpredictable movie because regardless of things you know this film's variety how unpredictable it was and how much of a ride it felt like it was because once i got far enough into this movie and i started to see what it more or less actually was overall i didn't know if things were quite to my personal taste and overall just does come down to whether this is your type of film or not because for what the movie is well not everything quite grabbed me personally i still look back at the grand scheme of it all and everything that does happen in this movie and it's just simply that the things that happen in this movie make sense for it they just feel right for this movie and interestingly i think that it's honestly partially that not all the things that happen in this movie feel like they were actually written specifically for the audience but more so for what the director knew he was going for with this movie and for what he knew that he wanted out of this movie whether it necessarily suited with the audience or not but by the end of this movie i just wanted to get out of my chair and say good game and overall guys for what this movie was overall regardless of my personal taste or how it suited with me at times i am overall going to give this film a pass again just at the end of it i do think that i mean regardless that neon pictures is already a studio that generally puts out films rooted for a specific audience this just really does depend on if this is your type of movie or not but yes guys that is going to do it for my personal uh thoughts on sanctuary at the end of it i do give this film enough of a recommendation and i am happy enough that i got the opportunity to go out and check out this film and that the movie was overall what it was but with all that being said guys I'm going to wrap uh, the review up here. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.